Hey everybody, Robbie Land is here from Checkpoint XP, and I'm joined by the general manager of the Florida Mayhem, Albert Yeah. So, Albert, the Mayhem have gone through a bit of a makeover these past two years, and you finally transitioned now to a fully Korean roster. What can fans of the team expect from this new lineup? Yeah, I mean, I think this is the most talented roster we've fielded um, in the three years that I've been here. Um, and I'm very excited for uh, for us to win, you know, a lot more matches um, this season. And I think the personal expectation is, you know, we reach plans. Um, so that's the goal for the season uh, is to go um, go from the bottom to, to plans. Uh, that's that's the bar um, that I've set internally for myself and the team. So uh, the New York Excelsior and Dallas homestands have been getting rave reviews thus far. Is there anything that you can tell us about what we can look forward to when the Mayhem hosts the league? Um, so we have a separate team working on that. Uh, I don't have the full details of um, our homestand yet, um, but you know for sure Dallas and Knicks will you know set the bar very high. Um, you know, it looked great on broadcast. Um, I'm sure it looked even better in person. Um, yeah, and I'm excited for homestands. Um, I'm excited for our homestand. Um, and, you know, hope we can live up to those expectations. The hero pool changes that are coming uh, a little bit later in March have everybody buzzing. Uh, how does the team feel about those uh, coming down the pipeline? And what do you think this means for the game and the overall health of the Overwatch scene? Um, I think I think any change is healthy at this point. Uh, I think the question isn't if change is healthy. It's is, you know, could there be other changes that are better options or healthier options? Um, but in general, I think, you know, this is much better than uh, than nothing um question it, it i think personally i'm not a fan of the week to week changes i'd rather have a, a little bit longer of a period like two weeks maybe or even um preferably i would have uh i would have just not went ahead with the hero pool changes until like maybe see for a month you know if the mat if the meta becomes stagnant then okay let's introduce hero pools let's see if we need to fix a problem um but i think on blizzard's end they're like well, how can we guarantee that the same hero doesn't get played or the same you know few heroes don't get played and it was like okay hero pools uh, we can guarantee that doesn't happen um so i i see both sides um personally i would have liked to see something a little bit more uh, a little less uh severe i feel like this is more of a overcorrection just because of how long goats lasted um but you know i i still think it's overall a positive change um i think the game's fun to watch um and you know We'll see. We'll see what happens in in March when hero pools become active. Yeah, and uh, obviously speaking of the hero pools, you know there's a lot of other changes that Overwatch has been going uh, through this year as well. Not only are we seeing the home matches, uh, there's been a ton of turnover on the analyst desk as well. Do you think this is just the growing pains of a league evolving to the next stage, or do you think that there's something more to it? Um, I wouldn't call it growing pains. Um, I think it's been two years of the league. Uh, or excuse me, that the talent's been in the league um, that left. I think. You know they're they're at a they're at a crossroads and the league was at a crossroads and they're just at slightly different um there are slightly different points where you know they couldn't come to an agreement on the contracts unfortunately um i do think you know the new talent has been you know for lack of a better word grinding the you know the overwatch scene very similar you know zp has been around forever since beta um you know cuss is a former pro jake you know former pro as well and I think there's I, I think it's a different look I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's a growing pain I think it's just you know they're at different stages in their careers um and they value they valued you know each other or themselves differently um so they couldn't come to an agreement on the contracts I don't I don't think it's um that big of a deal I think it I think it hurts that we lost some big names but I think overall the product um is it's, it's still gonna be fine now, as we look to the horizon, you know, we'll be transi transitioning to Overwatch 2 at some point, whether it's next season or the one after. And I just want to know, what are your thoughts on the game's sequel? And have you got to see any of it besides what was shown at uh, BlizzCon last year? Yeah, so I was at BlizzCon and I did get a uh, test drive of the new game or demo of the new game, um, the new game mode in particular. I didn't get a chance to do PvE, um, but I did the PvP mode. Um, it's interesting. I think it's hard to... I didn't... It, it was a demo, so we played like two, three matches maybe, tops. Um, so I didn't get experience it too much, um, but the graphics are updated. Graphics look good. Um, the UI looks a lot cleaner. Um, game looks great. Uh, you know, but the play feels very similar. Um, like mechanics, I didn't feel like it was a completely different game. I had to learn, you know, new mechanics or anything. 
it just seemed like a the game got a facelift. Um, and I, as I said, unfortunately, I didn't get experience PVE mode, um, but I heard good things about that. Uh, supposed to be a lot of depth in the in that mode um, and a lot of replayability. Uh, I don't think anyone's gotten a chance to see the development since then. Um, at least I haven't. I haven't seen it since the, the demo in at, at BlizzCon. So, uh, but in terms of my thoughts on uh, Overwatch 2 in general, I I think it's a the player base has kind of been a little stagnant um, the last year year and a half, I'd say. Um, and you know, I'm, I think you know Overwatch 2 is a great opportunity to. Um, you know, bring people back to the game, um, bring a lot of the casual fan fan base back with the PV mode, the campaign mode. Um, you know, get streamers to to come back to the game, play it. Um, hopefully, they like it, and you know, increase the player base uh, moving forward. All right. Finally, is there any uh, messages that you'd like to give out to there to the Florida Mayhem fans going into this uh, this twenty twenty season? Yeah, appreciate all you guys that have stuck with us from the beginning um, and are still with us. Uh, big props to you guys. We couldn't do it without you. Um, and I hope, you know, this season we'll turn it around and uh, we'll do our best to, to make playoffs and make a deep run. All right. General Manager of the Florida Mayhem, Albert Yeah, thank you so much for taking some time out to talk with me today. Really appreciate it. Of course. Anytime.